Feedback. The feedback activity allows you to take surveys and see class survey results. Sometimes the feedback activity will be an ungraded set of questions just for practice. Taking a feedback survey. I'll click on the feedback activity icon on the course page. In this course, it's called a course survey. Before we click on the answer the questions button, it's important to read the feedback activity instructions. This survey says it's a survey to collect feedback from students during the last week of the course. It is hoped that this will improve the course for students in the future. Now I'll click on the Answer the Questions button. The feedback activity appears. If you see, as we do here, mode, user's name will be logged and shown with answers, it means your name will be shown on the survey. Some surveys are anonymous, which means your name is hidden on the survey. Now we'll scroll down. Note, if a question has a red icon, it means that the question must be answered. In this survey, we have to answer all the questions. In this text box, I'll follow the instructions in full sentences, write about your favorite part of the class, and something that could be improved. I'll type, I like learning about Aboriginal people. I wish there was more interactive learning activities. This is a multiple choice single answer question, which allows you to click on one of the choices. This is also a multiple choice question, but it allows you to choose more than one answer. Question 5 is a multiple choice, single answer, but it's on a drop down menu. Question 6 asks you what do you feel about online learning? You can select one and rate your course from this list. Question 7 Ask you how many hours do you study outside the class each week, and you can select and type a number between 0 and 20. Question 8 asks you to write one adjective that describes how you feel about the course. The last question, question 9, asks you if you have any additional comments. I'm going to click No here. Sometimes the feedback survey is longer than one page. If you see a Next Page button, click on it. You, as a student, can see the feedback results by clicking on the Submitted Answers link. The feedback survey results are usually shown on the screen. Note, some results are text while others are in chart format.